yeah. Hey guys, it's Mache here. I know it's been a little while, but I got some big things to tell you, and we're gonna start with this video right here. So get ready, check it out. Yeah, so I know it's been a while since I've um, posted anything, and you know that there's, most of you probably know that there's already some issues going on with uh, YouTube and all that, so I was waiting to see what the go was. Plus, I was waiting on my new little setup. I've got a setup that hopefully will make the vlogs and all the episodes that I'm doing so much better. So I hope this looks better. This is the first time I'm using my new camera um, with the whole new setup. And I thought I'd do something special. Um, I, I have been filming a few things and I've got a bunch of footage to put together for the Exploring Australia stuff. But um, I'll, I'll get to that. I just wanted to wait and see what the go was with the way things are happening on YouTube. But yeah, I've got a few new subscribers, so thanks guys for signing up. And remember, if you like what I'm doing, you know, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Because now i got this new camera, it's going to really be doing a lot more work. <laughs> I'm going to be making a lot of videos. Plus, as you might have here, I'm just getting over a cold, so I'm a bit nasally. But I thought we'd kick things off. Let me get this out. Ah. Yeah, I just got the, just throwing it up in my room, and I just thought, oh, well, get this started. But uh, I got some new gear, and I thought, well, before I start playing with it, I'm going to do some unboxing stuff. So, got a couple things that will be fun to unbox, which will, these two will be up in the next video, uh, the next two videos. I thought for the first unboxing and, you know, just so I could catch up because I haven't been doing anything for a while, I, you know, I'm, I'm rearranging my pedal board stuff. So I thought, oh well, I'm going to kick things off with an unboxing of the BCB30. It's the Boss Little, little 3 pedal pedal board. And there's a reason why I got this smaller one. I've got the big one, and I'll actually be using this with, in conjunction with the big one. There's another reason why I got this. So I'll tell you all about that soon. But first off, let's just see what is inside the box. Okay, so this is my very first unboxing video. So let's just see what it go how it goes, eh? So this is the boss. The ba 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 boss. BCB 30 pedal board. And what do we got here? It is a case. Nothing in the box. Throw that over there. Okay. So we open it up. Yep. And I know a lot of people have probably if you've if you've done any research on this, you've probably got um oh it doesn't come with anything. You know, it's just a box. So you got your little instruction guide, I guess, your owner's manual. That's what it looks like. Throw that over there, we won't need it. So, we got a little package here, and this should be your cables. Yep, get rid of that one. Okay, so the cables that it comes with are a bit thinner than when the um, BCB60. Right, so they got two patch cables because it holds. It's supposed to hold three pedals, so they've given you two patch cables. Bit disappointed because uh, the patch cables with the BC BCB60 are actually quite good. Hang on, let me get this good one out. So in the BCB60, you get a nice long one like that, and and you do get a couple short ones. I got mine here because I'm going to be setting it all up. So, look at the difference in the cable. So I am a little disappointed, because look, have a look at that. Big difference, they're really thin. Yeah, I was expecting two of these, because this is what came with the BCB60. You got some, in a minute, uh, you got really short ones, and then you got these, um, this is what comes with the BCB60. So you got some medium ones as well. I think there's two medium ones. That basically it goes from your in and out, sockets into your first and last pedal um, but yeah and the rest are like this so I am a bit disappointed that these are so thin it's like come on boss you've got one you got these for your big one at least right there I know it's, I know it's not very expensive this box but 
keep the quality up. So now you've got also a daisy chain, which I was actually happy about because uh, when I first started looking uh, at the thing, at, at looking at the pedal boards that Boss had, um, I didn't even know it came with the cords at first. I just thought, oh, it's just a box, you know, and then I heard that it came out with the cords. So I thought, oh, you probably have to plug in your pedals individually if you want to plug it in or buy a daisy chain. But this actually gives you a daisy chain with three pedals and it's also got a plug. So what I was thinking I was going to have to do was either plug into the wireless or the tuner and then daisy chain it out. Um, but this one actually has it. So it doesn't come with an um, actual wall socket. Okay, so that's what you do. So the power point that the power uh, plug that you'd put into a pedal just plugs into there, and then the daisy chain for each pedal, which keeps things good because I like I was actually thinking that I might have to have a, a adapter for each one or buy a daisy chain separate. And here is the box. So it's a good. Yeah, it feels good. Yeah, hang on. Yeah, feels nice and solid, just like the um, just like the casing for the BC BCB60. But there's no foam inserts. Okay, so it is really basic. Um, at least with the uh, BCB60, you got some foam inserts because it it's just pretty much open, and then they got the holes in the foam. But this one will be fine if you use three normal size pedals for Boss. Which is actually pretty good though because the adapter I've got looks like it's not gonna fit. Okay, hang on, let me just check this. I don't think it will. But oh yeah, it does. Maybe? No. Okay, so the adapter I have. Oh no, it does. Okay, if I put it on its side. Cool. So I can actually keep the 9 volt. Uh, is it 9 or 12? I can't remember. Anyway, um, so that's that's good to know because I was thinking, okay, well, I can put that in there, have everything set up, put the cords up here while the pedals are there, and that way I can lock it up. So I just got to do it on its side. So that's not too bad. I'm actually quite surprised. It It's good quality plastic. These things are really sturdy and tough. I wish I did have, I wish it had foam in here. Um, just the you know, look after the pedals because pedals aren't cheap, you know. Um, and to give you an idea of what I'll be doing, <coughs> I'm going to, when we un unbox the wireless, I'm actually thinking of a wireless, the tuner, and a compressor. So that's how my board's going to run with this one. The, the reason why I did this is because the wireless and the tuner with the compressor would be really good um, for acoustic as well. So if I plug in my acoustic, uh, in yeah, I put the wireless with the acoustic, and then have the compressor out. So that way I've I've got the tuner available and a bit of compression on it, um, and go straight into a DI and go through the house system. So that that's my thinking with this. Now, for an electric setup, I'm still gonna have the wireless, the tuner, and of course, the compressor. That's first on my board, uh, is the, I go from a tuner to a compressor on my BCB60. So what I'll be doing is I've got my, I've started off my chain of effects. So I got the wireless, the uh, tuner, and then the compressor. And then from here, I'm gonna go into the BCB60 which will have all my effects like distortions and delays and all that sort of stuff. So that's my thinking. But I am really happy with the BCB60. It, it's a good solid case, just like the other one. Um, you know, like, I would have liked to have a little bit of foam, you know, because like the BCB60 really does, um, you know, it feels like, okay, everything's nice and padded and safe. But I think it's pretty good. I'm a bit just like I said, I'm a bit disappointed in the patch cables. I think they could have done better. But also just looking at this, yeah, I kind of see why probably um, when you start to patch them. 
So it might, it might be that might be why they've gone with a thinner cable. Um, but when I get the pedals in here, we'll know. And you'll get if you want to see more, subscribe, hit like, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss the upcoming video. Because um, I'm going to be doing the wireless system, which goes in here first. So that's going to be the next video. And I will have a video where it shows the whole pedal system that I'm doing and why I'm doing it. I've just explained why I'm doing this one. But you'll get to see my whole pedal system and see how it runs. I thought, well, I don't know where I'm going to put this, but I thought, let's put this pedal board together. Boom. Yeah, so it does have a off link. Yep, there we go. Boom. So the it does detach. Ooh. Okay, so what am I doing? I am not putting batteries in here. <gasps> Why? Because I don't trust batteries very often. And you probably think, well, what if the power goes out? Well, I'm running this through a tuner and a compressor. So the tuner, I always have, I do have a battery in it because I don't have to wait to unplug, um, to plug in before I can tune my guitar. You pull out the, and we'll get it out. So you got the tuner, you, if you leave a battery in here, so if you do need to tune up beforehand, you can plug in there, pull that out, and you can just use that on its own like that. Otherwise, plug it back in. So, hey, let's have a look at these thin wires that we talked about. Do, 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 do. Let's see what this is like. Do, 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 do. Okay, so that's up top, bang. We're in. Come on. Ah, it's active. Okay, I'm actually quite surprised. Um, this is actually quite tight. Ah. Obviously, the wireless system. Oh, there we are. The wireless system is slightly thinner because that went in really easy, but it is still secure. So boss, thumbs up. I'm actually really surprised about that, but I don't like that. Look, look the cord doesn't quite fit in properly. Look, oh, I guess if you smoosh it down like that. Okay, so there's that one. And then from my tuner, because your line signal, input. Now the thing is though with the, um, WL60, they do have an input jack. So should you have a problem with the transmitter, you can plug a lead in there, plug a normal lead in and just treat it as your pass so you don't have to stuff around too much. So we got the output of the tuner into the input of the compressor. Bang, oh yeah. So yeah, actually, I owe Boss an apology because I was talking about the foam, how I like the foam in the BCB60. Look at that. Nothing, it's upside down. See, the pedal's there. Boom, boom, boom. That is secure. So if you got Boss pedals, wow, that is awesome. Right, so you, okay, so. Do, 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 do. So obviously, I, I, I'll probably throw this in. <laughs> I'm trying to work out because I just thought I'd just videotape me putting this together. So I am going to throw this into the video, uh, the unboxing video for the BCB30 because I think this is really important to know because I did bag them out. I did bag about the wires. I can, I can see that. I think those ones that come with the BCB60 would probably be too thick. So I actually understand it. So good on you, boss. You made me look like an idiot. But yeah, it's like, you know, thin wires like e, but I don't mind it. Actually, I get it. Although I hate my wires too kinked. 
bit of OCD there. And of course, as you can see, it does flop down there. So you just gotta push it down a little bit. I don't want it going up. Cause I want them out of the way cause the daisy chain is gonna be up here. But yeah, now that is really good. I am really stoked about that because yeah, it's like, ew, I don't want my pedals flopping around and falling out. But yeah, look at that, I'm shaking that. Now, of course, if I went whack, then yeah, I'm sure the pedal would come out. But yeah, no, that all fits perfectly. So if you look at it here, we got the WL60 input. Right, there's my wireless going into my tuner, into my compressor. That is awesome. So then we're gonna daisy chain this thing. So let's see. Bit OCD here, but uh, yeah. Okay, oh, that's the end. See now what I was talking about about the tuner. If that's if it's plugged into the wall, a uh, wall port, it doesn't go. But if I plug a lead in here. It should bypass, I'm hoping, I'll have to check it out. But as soon as you unplug the power for the tuner, that's why I keep a battery in here. But I don't keep a battery in there. Maybe I should just for the plug, but I'm hoping that the patch here will just run straight through. If not, it don't matter. Okay, and that's the input. Boom. Okay, so. That's interesting. I guess they've made it a little longer than normal for pedals that you might put in here that have side mounts or something. I would have thought that this would have been almost perfect. It's like, um, if you look at the BCB60, it's almost like they designed the, the cables really full on with them. Um, and it just fits perfectly, but I'm, uh, I'm happy. I'm not complaining. I just thought it'd be interesting to note. So, okay, so there's that. And then of course we have a power adapter. Now you could just sort of like stick that in there and like, okay, yeah, whatever. Do, do, do. And when you're ready, pull it out. But I want it self-contained. And, and that's the thing, I have uh, my BCB60 even, um, cause I actually put an extra pedal in. I filled up the daisy chain and I actually had an extra pedal. And that's where this, PowerPoint comes from because I had to find a port for an extra pedal that I had in there um, and I had all of this in the BCB60 um, including this extra PowerPoint so I wanted to keep it all together so that way I just pick it up and go and it's all one secure unit so just have a feel yeah, the WL60 is a, like I said, it, uh, you'll, you'll see in the next review, because yeah, I'm putting this one in the first video. Uh, it is very light. Feels plasticky, but we'll talk about that in the next video. So then the power point goes there. Bang. Okay. I should really get a boss plug they're really good but that fits in all right just want it out of the way nice and tidy so I can just rip it out plug it in I've got some distance there Doo -doo -doo. so this will be a test to see what it's like when I'm packing up okay there's that yeah these cord the daisy chain is just a tiny bit too long so it pops up but then again, it's better than being too short, isn't it? Rather have a little bit excess that you gotta, you know, wrangle with. Okay, yeah. Pop up, now quick. Okay, that's secure. We're closed. And that is my setup. Now the whole thing about this, the reason why um, I wanted this like this, because this, goes into my BCB60 for the electric setup. But if I'm doing an acoustic guitar, that's exactly how I'm gonna use this. So anyway, if you wanna see the, the Boss WL60 review uh, unboxing, the review will be done afterwards. Like I, I've just recorded this way after the unboxing videos. 
So I thought, oh bugger, I'm gonna slap this right in the middle of the unboxing of the BCB60 because that's where it should be. Um, but yeah, check out, subscribe and check out um, so you don't miss the future videos. Huh, battery ran out, okay. Anyway, yeah, so, um, yeah, so I'm just slapping this video straight into um, the unboxing for this one. So it's kind of like a review for it, okay? So, um, yeah, so I, I just recorded this after the fact. Uh, I thought, oh, well, I might as well just record myself putting it in and it's turned into a bit of a review for the BCB30 and so where do I put that? I gotta put it in with the unboxing because that's where it belongs. So yeah, if you wanna see the uh, WL60 unboxing, that'll be the next video. Um, but yeah, this the whole point of this was you know, it may seem a bit weird, but I want it so I can just pick up and go. Um, as I said, I'll be plugging this. This is the first line of the chain. This into the BCB60, which I will show you when I, you know, I'll show you this in conjunction with it in a future video. I'll do it just specially. If you want, comment yes in, comment in the, in the comments. Comment in the comments, duh. If uh, you want to see my pedal set up, because this is the main thing, but this will be going into my main pedal board, which has my effects like uh, reverb and delay and distortion and that. Um, but it's also a little perfect um, wireless system for an acoustic guitar. So uh, when I'm doing my acoustic gigs, I just take the transmitter out, boom, slap it on, and I'm done, you know? Actually, <laughs> how's that? Oh, is it possible? This is what we didn't think of. Now, see, I had it all set up. We didn't, we forgot the transmitter. So it's not a complete system. But the transmitter, will it fit? Will it fit? Come on, will it fit? That actually fits really well. So the transmitter's in there, and transmitter's no good without the cable. So will the cable go in without disturbing anything? Okay, so this is the real test. So this is becoming a little bit of a review. So that actually fits in there quite nicely. That That's not a problem. So let's pull that plug out, that's there. So the whole thing is, is the cable, which is really good, which we'll talk about in the next review. I've already talked about the cable. But I'm just gonna put that there like that. Oh wow, so I almost, so my entire wireless setup is in this now. I just pick it up, so I've got this and my acoustic guitar, and all I need is a lead that goes from here into a DI. Now, you know, most professional setups will have a lead in their DI, so you just plug this straight into their lead. and. I've got an acoustic setup and I'm wireless. So, we'll check out the next video for the unboxing of the WL60. And yeah, that was pretty long, so I'll be doing a review later. But yeah, there's my little wireless system. How cool is that? Uh, so yeah, comment if you wanna see the, um, the my pool, my, uh, my pool, my full pedal setup and I will do a video for that, but only if you guys really want to see it. So anyway, here, check it out. Wow.